So we're back for another micro practice doing embodiment and resourcing. So today the theme is um, nourishment, self-nourishment. Let's start as we usually do with a check-in. I like standing, you're welcome to sit if you want. And we're gonna use three centers, the body, the heart, and the mind. And I usually incorporate into that any other ways that I experience myself, a spiritual being, a soul. So just include whatever feels right for you. Let's start with our hands over our tummies, standing in a position that feels comfortable to you. Sitting is okay, of course. And close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Tuning in now to your body, your whole body and asking the question, and I'm gonna pose it like I'm talking to my own body. Hi, body, how are you today? And then I'm just gonna listen. So I'm not looking for a specific answer. I'm actually really tuning in and listening to what am I feeling, what am I sensing in my body without judgment, Now let's move our attention, maybe even your hands as well, up to your heart area, tuning into your emotional body and asking, hey, emotional body, how are you right now? Just noticing what we notice. It may appear to us in words, it may not appear in words, it may appear in more of a subtle sensation or a tone. And then moving our awareness now, attention up into the head where the mind is. Although we do have um, neurons in other areas of our body, we've just recently been learning. So tuning into the mind, hey mind, what kind of state are you in right now? Hmm. Just practicing attunement with yourself in all the different ways that you experience your life. So let's take that a little bit further today. And this time, let's go through the three centers and ask another question. So um, with the lower the lower area, the lower center, tuning in and asking your body, hey, body, do you need anything? And again, just listening to see if your body communicates something to you, a need or a want. Then again, moving up now to the middle center, to your emotional body, and asking your emotional body, hey, emotional body, do you need anything right now? And then bringing their, your awareness, your hands, if you wish, up to your head and asking your mental body, hey, mental body, do you need anything right now? And then opening your eyes and bringing your arms down. So you may or may not have, have got an answer or heard or had a sense of any kind of a need, but let's just set that aside or keep that in, in your awareness as we move on to the next se section. We're going to do a little bit of tapping now, just kind of waking up the energy of the body. And I'm going to start by turning around and showing you from behind. With soft hands, soft fists, I'm just going to tap my back. My intention here is to just wake up the energy in this area of my body. Take a few deep breaths while you do this. Ah. Mm. 
And I'm going to turn around and bring my hands around now, either with your hands open or with soft fists, just tapping your belly. It's okay to close your eyes if you want to really feel into your body and just notice how that feels. Play with the amount of pressure. Maybe very light, medium, or more intense. Just noticing what feels good to you. Again, a big deep breath while you do this. And then bringing your hands up to your chest, the upper chest area. You can either use your fingers with, with flexible wrists, lightly tapping, or you can use soft fists again. Feel it reverberate through your body. Notice what it sounds like. It might feel like on your collarbone, you can feel that bone, that bony area, the ribs, the sternum. Now bring one hand across and pat the top of the shoulder, one side, and then the other side. So a lot of acupressure points all over the body. And so this helps wake up the energy that pools in those acupuncture points. Now take your fingers and just lightly tap your head all around in the front and the back. Again, experimenting with what amount of pressure feels good for you. And then let your arms come down. Close your eyes if they weren't already closed. And just pause for a moment and notice how your body feels. So this kind of rhythmic tapping, patting, brings more awareness, more sensation into your whole body. On an energy level, it helps kind of wake up the energy that pools in different areas of the body and helps it move through the system, move through the meridians. It also can help release tension and it communicates to the nervous system that it's, it's okay to relax, it's okay to let go. And then you can open your eyes. Now we're gonna do a movement called the waterfall. So this movement is very simple. It's just a circular movement with the arms, the whole body is engaged. So we're gonna do the movement first and then I'll add a couple of layers in terms of intention and what we're doing with our awareness. I think I'll show you from the side first. So with my arms scooping forward, palms up, up to about the level of my head, then I'm going to turn my fingers toward each other and come down the middle of my body. When I get toward the bottom, I'm gonna rotate my arms around and then scoop up again. Palms up, now the hands and the wrists soften and the fingers pour down the front of the body like a waterfall pouring down. When you get to the bottom, let the arms rotate and scoop up again. Very simple. I'll show you again from the side, close to the body as you come down the front. You can do this one sitting or standing. Lean forward a bit, scoop, bring the arms up. Fold the wrists and the fingers come down the front of the body. We're going to add the breath. So breathing in as you scoop up. Remember to modify. You don't have to go up this high if you don't want to. Exhale as you come down. So if there's any pain or discomfort in your shoulders, you can still do this movement without lifting your arms very high. You can still get that quality of circular movement, arms and wrists and hands spiraling. Breathing in as you scoop. And like a waterfall, it pours down the front of your body or into your body. And just continuing that, you can either do it right with me. You can go a little faster or a little slower. You can do it with your eyes open or softly focused, or even with your arms, or sorry, with your eyes closed. Nice big breath, synchronizing the breath with the movement. 
and letting your mind pay attention to the movement. I like to say, letting the mind take a break from thinking and it just rides the movement. So this movement is a very receptive movement. Like water, water has this quality of just flowing and moving in the path of least resistance. And going back to our original topic of nourishment, allowing in whatever it is you, your body, heart, or mind or spirit needs. We're going to take a little bit of a different attitude with it. It's fine to reach out, to seek, to take, to get what you want. It's also a little bit of a different way approach to become receptive and allow what you need to flow to you. So that's a little bit less common of an attitude of relaxing, letting go, noticing what you want and need, and being in a trustful place of allowing it to come to you. So do a few more of these. It's like using your body and your movement and your breath to become a receiver of the abundance that's available. Let's do a couple more of these. Noticing how the simplicity of the movement, you don't have to work hard at learning it or figuring it out. It's just a simple, circular, relaxed movement. I'll do one more circuit. Yeah. yeah, as you finish your last one, we'll go into a standing posture or a sitting posture. And I'm going to give you a few options. So like a welcoming posture as if you're just opening up to the universe to receive. Another version might be just to actually put your hands out in front with palms up. And another option might be putting one hand on the heart and one hand just open. And I invite you to close your eyes. You can come up with another posture if you want. Whatever feels comfortable and has kind of a quality of openness and allowing or receiving. And again, letting your mind stay present. Focusing on the sensations in the body, the space around you. The sense of connecting with all the other people who are doing this practice together or who might join later when they watch the video recording. And then we'll bring it to a close. So gently opening your eyes. And thank you for doing this practice.